All right. January is in the books. So goes January. So goes the rest of the year is the same. Can't wait to be watching financial media and hear them say that all through the weekend. Not. Here we are, folks. Uh, we now <coughs> are up so large for the year. We're almost up larger than we were all of 2012. Can you believe it? We're up uh, almost 10%. Again, we closed the year uh, last year around 1422, and uh, we're uh, trading right now on the close at 1507. Mm -hmm. Bullish market on these midterm charts. We talked about these last week. Let's show them again and uh, kind of try to bring in some context here, what we're seeing in the overall marketplace for next week. Uh, we are now, again, uh, at another multi-year, let's call it a six-year high, back to 1510. Uh, 50 was our high. We thought we'd approach this 15, 12 area. We got very close to it again today. Maybe we'll see it early next week. That being said, again, we are way beyond value. Value on the 30 minutes, somewhere down here, 1496, 1495 on the one month chart, and way back down here at 1406. Now, uh, one thing that I want to show real quick, and I'll give you the, the longer term charts. Again, straight down here from the top. Uh, that was our old high, 1586. So we're coming back to that approach. Remember that was uh, seen in November of 07 was our last high that we saw uh, in this market. There's a lot of congestion in the six months, really it was five months of, uh, May of Mar March and May of 07 through uh, November that we were in a topping process. So uh, here we are again almost six years later coming into the top of this range of a uh, 10 plus year chart on the on the monthly chart mm -hmm. we are again on value way above uh, value here uh, very difficult to be chasing this market if you haven't been long but also very difficult not time necessarily to get short or dump your longs if you have been long so where does that put me as a trader well it puts me in a very good spot. I'm, I'm very nimble and uh, we continue to uh, try to bring trade ideas to the market every day based upon where the market is and this is part of our process here is a top-down process. On the weekly chart, a three-month chart, again, very extended, very, very bullish, but very extended. So uh, if you haven't been long or you're still riding long positions, you want to really start uh, protecting and hedging yourself to the, to the uh, downside. The risk in this market is still to the upside for me versus the downside. Even if we got up to the old high, 1586, nothing's going to take us right through that in one fell swoop. So keep this in mind as you're looking at these markets. We're well beyond the 1326 value on the three-year chart. And even, uh, again, on a daily chart, we now have gone, again, from this 1340 low that we saw in late, uh, right around uh, Thanksgiving, 1340, all the way up here to 1510. That move, just with that little shakeout around the end of the year for the fiscal cliff, this move, except for this pause, has been, I mean, you can draw, uh, you can't really draw uh, a uh, rocket ship that's much straighter than that. That is almost the uh, profile that you'll see, matter of fact, when you do launch a rocket ship. So we all know that those come back to Earth at some point. So point out a couple things here, 1262 to uh, this move here, 1465 on that measured move, about 200 points. And this move here, 1340 to 1510, that projects another 30 points to get to a second measured move on the daily chart. So again, upside here, I see difficulty getting past, say, 1530, 1540, but very possible. So uh, be wary and be careful out there as this market continues to go higher. Uh, one thing I will point out real quick again before we wrap it up for the week and this is the short term charts again finished pretty strong just a little trickle into the close on Friday you can see we just kind of hung there at uh, 1050 or so it was a high of the day and then we just uh, you know a lot of little light profit taking the rest of the day really no reason for bulls to get scared into the end of the day but the thing I did want to point out is the VIX again VIX back to sub 13 uh, sub teenage years on the VIX and the VIX is uh, trading all the way down here at uh, closed out at 1290 and uh, pretty much above where it uh, bottomed here at the same time that the market peaked at 1272, uh, there at 1050. So VIX has come back again, pretty uh, broken charts here in the short term. Weekly uh, chart here broke, the two day chart broke, and the daily chart is also uh, actually closed a little bit on the bullish side. So something to be concerned with next week if you have been long this overall market. VIX futures to us still look attractive. Here's your, here's your backstop. If we close below 12, 12 or 1220, 
this trade would be off. But look to buy some uh, VIX calls here over the next week as uh, I think this breakout that we started to see early in the week, uh, you can see it here on the 30 minute and the 60 minute. We've come back and retraced a good chunk of that. We're be well below value. I think we could trade anywhere on this uh, longer term chart again from 27.73 down to 12. We've just lost all fear in this market right now. However, I think over the next few weeks we could see a spike some event will drive this market up and we could see VIX trade from 16 to 20 anywhere up into this block in here would not surprise me at least some type of parabolic spike that could really shake out a lot of uh, weak longs that are just getting involved in this market now that every magazine and every indicator now is saying retail needs to be back in the market so a couple things to keep in mind if you've been long protect yourself if you haven't been long no need to chase this market i don't think we go much higher than that 1530 1580 area we're at 1510 so the upside risk is a lot heavier than the downside risk right now in this marketplace. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you over at mistrade.info.